hello friends and welcome back to one more video so today we are going to create a view which is called as carousel view in Swift UI so basically you can create such type of views to show different type of data to your users mostly you can find this type of views in social media apps and to create this it is very easy in Swift UI and also at the bottom you can see that you have this page indicator on top of that also you can scroll the list so let's get started and see how you can create this before getting started if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe here because i daily post videos here on shift ui whatever i learn i try to share that with the community community so yeah that's about my channel and let's get started and create a new project so i am using here xcode beta 12 let's select project app let's name it as the result demo and let's save it on our computer okay so the first thing what we have to do here is since we are going to show different type of images here so i need to add some images in my project first so let me add that first so I have here assets project. Let me add those images here. Okay. So now here you can see that I have different animal images from one to eight. So that we are going to use in our project. Okay. Let me full screen this. Yeah. Now we can start. So first what we need is we need one tab view to show different images. So let's create that tab view we have created and for tab view we have to give inside tab view we will pass different type of images since we have eight images. So we will use for each loop here which will go from one to eight and also we need to provide an ID which will identify each index uniquely so that is id and here we are going to get one index so let's say index in okay so now we have our for loop ready so inside for loop we are going to use images which we have just added so my image name is animal and then after that i have to pass the index okay Let's try to see if it is working on our this view or not. Since uh, we have added only image, we need to resize them also. So let's do that first. Dot resizable. I don't need all this, so we can remove that. Okay. After resizing, we have to set the frame. So let's set the frame. Let's set 200 by 200 for now, and we can modify it later. Okay, here you can see it is taking the frame then after this we have to set the padding also then and to give padding for horizontal sides so let's do that I forgot to add the dot here okay then after this we need to give some background so let's give the background as color dot red okay i've added it with the wrong place let me undo it yeah here we need to add the color dot red okay so we can see here we can see the let me just check the name of the images it's animal one okay here is also correct so i think we'll see the image in some time let's add the remaining code first so here you can see uh, we have some corner also so let's give the corner radius of say 20 again dot okay corner radius is given let's now give the tag which will basically nothing but our index which will uniquely define one image at a time and it will display inside the tab view so we need to give a tag for that 
okay now let's try to run on the actual device and see how it looks also it is running in here you can see we can see the image here in the canvas okay let's click the run here okay so now you can see we can see our image properly so let's write the next code so now to make uh, this tab view also we need to add some frame so let's do that dot frame and here I want to give only height I don't want to give width so let's remove that and height will be say whatever you want to give I am giving 350 here and I don't need this so let's remove that okay we have given the frame let's give padding also padding also we have given now you can see that it's this much only so once I give it a background color then you will be able to see it properly let me give the next part which is the tab view style which is very important here tab view style the most important part here I am going to say that page tab view style this will eventually tell that we want a cursor type of view here ok again I have written it at the wrong place ok tab view style here now you can see we can scroll it but you can see that it's normal scroll just like a page view controller but here in our example we have this animation also and the size is also getting changed so let's now see how you can create that also we haven't added the page indicator at the end so let's do that also so for that first what we want is we want to take one selection here so selection property for that I will create a state property here first at the rate state private var private because I am going to use it inside this structure only so let's say name this image or uh, this property as selection and by default we will give the first value to this and that you can pass here to the tab view as selection which is nothing but our selection property using the dollar sign selection let's click resume here ok now it's working fine but I need to give some I think extra also which is nothing but this bottom so let's give this page index you can say so for that what you have to use is index view style here you have to use and inside this you have to use page index view style and for page index view style also you have to provide a background display mode so let's do that background display mode and which is will be dot always so it will directly show the page indicator earlier it was in white color but once you write this part of code it will show it with that background color which is light gray and which will work in both dark mode and light mode so in dark mode you can see it works like this and in light mode it works like this ok so now we have added that part also now the only part remaining is the animation and changing the size also so let's do that so for changing the size what you can do is here where you have passed the width and height you can pass some condition like if my selected index is only showing means now it is on the first or you can say it is on the second when it goes to three third index and then I will get that index here in the selection property so I will check that if it is selected one then only increase the size else decrease it like this if the selected one is bigger and once the new one is coming it's at the start it is small once it's come up in front then the size will get increased so we are going to do that here so let's add that condition here so I will say width should be depending on the selection selection is my current index then it will take the height as 200 else it will take the width as sorry earlier I have said height here it will be width only so if it is selected one then width will be 200 else it will take 100 same for height so let's see now and now you can see small coming and it's directly getting bigger but there is no animation here so we need to add that animation part now 
so to add the animation what we'll do is we'll use it here so let's say dot animation and there are multiple animation which you can use but we will use these out here so now now let's see how it works now you can see it's working fine and if i add the code for the dark mode here let's see first duplicated so once i click on this duplicate button you can see the extra code gets added here okay now the code is added and now i can see there are two canvas views for me so i want to check one in dark mode so i will say here inspect and change the layout or oh no scheme from light to dark now you can see the code is also gets added there and now once i click try again it should turn that canvas view to dark but you can see that there is some problem in this canvas view sometimes it takes time to load so now what will i do is i will try to run this on the actual simulator which is iphone se and we will try to change the uh, mode from there in the settings and see how it looks okay so now it's running and it's already in dark mode so let's see how it looks and here we go this is our carousel view with the animation so that's how you can create a carousel view in swift ui and you guys have seen it so easy to use it as compared to ui kit so hopefully you guys have liked this video and if you have liked this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for my channel for more videos like this so thank you guys for watching this video bye